said you liked talking. Little chats with a stranger by the fire. You said it was like the movies. And you said that you want everything that I have. Every last bit. Well, here it is. Every last bit. Why'd you bring this here? What is going on YouTube, Twitch, 0088 here. We are on episode two of The Walking Dead Heartland. Episode two, The Walking Dead. It's dedicated to Heartland, The Walking Dead, Heartland, episode two. Whatever it is, we're back. And we're going to see what's going on with Eastman and Morgan as he's in the Heartland storyline with Quincy, Helena, and Malik, and so on. Let's see what's going on. I'd like to offer your team some rewards and some goodwill. That is, if you'll send someone over who can help me with something. I know everybody in this valley, but I've never heard that voice before. Be careful, okay? Mysterious request, eh? Dr. Logan, here we come. Let me come this place by here. Utility truck, that'll do. What's in here, then? Hey, this is oh, Morgan left all this. Damn, Morgan. <gasps> Max level fighting, baby. What should we give him? Sword play. Sword play for sure. It's got fuel in it already. We'll put some more fuel in. Then we'll go see Morgan after we've done this mission. See how far Eastman's got along with him. Dr. Logan, let's go. Go on, Eastman. That's him working on Morgan there. I just need you to make a quick pickup for it. Great. Here's the deal. There's a supply drop not far from here. And it's something I need. If you bring back the encrypted note and that supply drop, you can keep whatever else you find. Sure thing. All right. That's not too bad, I guess. We can make him come with us, to be honest. That could save time. Is he going to die, though? <laughs> I'm going to make him come with us. Go on, Captain Logan. You're coming with us. Which is kind of cheaty, but it saves time because you can't normally make a camera like this. It's night time as well. Look how dark it is. Eyes up. This right here is the place. Oh shit. I didn't think you met a juggernaut. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm glad you're still with us. One from the supply drop. Get encrypted note in the supply crate. What does it say? This entire page is just a string of letters and numbers. It's worth it's anyone other than Captain Logan. The guy who asked for us to find it. Ooh, pursuit mines. Come on, get better at guns. Welcome back. We appreciate your help on this. Whoa! That's what I'm looking for. I thought I was gonna Excellent. Die Be sure to grab anything else that catches your eye. I was eye. I thinking everyone's gonna throw the car and pretty fuck it up. I know, right? You have the encrypted note? Sorry, that's classified. You have the encrypted note? You've done a great service today. I can't go into details at this time, but someday, all of Trumbull Valley will thank you for this. That's all for now. I'll be in touch later if it's required. Be safe out there. All right, kid. So he actually ran off. What was that guy's deal? I got no goddamn clue. And that bugs the hell out of me. All right, let's head back to base and see how far Eastman's got with Morgan. Mr. These Raptor, plague walls. Please, my friend. You have to help. Return home before the plague overrun your community. The heck? Why is... <laughs> Nine minutes. What happens if we don't get there in nine minutes? And why is Santos telling us about it? There's a juggernaut out here. Ah, oh, shit, man. Hordes rolling. I didn't live this long just to lay down and die here. Keep fighting. I'm back hunting for something. Where's, where's Eastman? Where'd the Eastman? 
Fuck. That screamer calls its friends. I'm in trouble. I don't even like using guns. Right. It makes it so easy to kill Juggernaut. That's because there's loads of us here. <laughs> what well, if Santos is people? Be on guard around that barrel. Oh, oh shit. What the... Keep it up! Let's win this one! I don't even want to witness any of this. We should get on these repairs before the deadheads show up again. Take comfort that you still have a home at all, my friend. You're lucky you didn't get any of us killed. Ooh, wrap up with Ray Santos. Come on, Eastman. What are you going to say to Ray? Eastman, you're a pacifist, man. Shouldn't be this mad. You really proved yourself today. Thank you, my friend. We'll find somewhere nearby to live for the time being. Why was it here? Take care, my friend. This valley grows more deadly every day. This may not be the prettiest base, but where else has a dinosaur out front? Put this gun away. Eastman don't like guns. Hi Elena? There, Keisha. Damn, she's hurt, man. Rick's Colt Python, that's what she uses, eh? Alright, let's go see how Morgan's doing, eh? Let me just put some people in the uh, front. Oh, I feel like shit. Alright, let's go see Morgan. Damn, made his prison really nice. You could leave anytime you want, Morgan. That's why the door's wide open. Damn, he's strong. It's PTSD. You've been through trauma, right? You killed a lot of people? Yes. You save anyone? You saved people. Pointless acts. Morgan still ain't very happy with him since uh, Eastman beat him up last time. Alright, let's be Quincy. We want to do uh, Santos uh, shop over. We've got to talk to Santos. Supply run for Keisha. And meet Captain Logan at Deep Green Farmhouse. Okay, let's do the Santa store shop over ah, one. Be sure you bring with us. Today. I'm not using any AI mods now, so they're probably not going to be as good as they were before. We'll leave Eastman to sort out Morgan, but we'll bring Malik and Helena. And we'll even bring Keisha. Okay. It feels wrong to have all that empty space just sitting there. Yeah, I know. I don't know what we're going to make though. All right, guys, we're going to leave Eastman here while we go out and do this mission. Let's still talk to Ray Santos, everybody. Ray's group may not always take action, but they're good people. I hate to see them drifting like this. Oh, boy. The plague zombies have taken our home. Please, can you help? Sure, let's do this. Agree to clear Santos' farmhouse. I knew you'd come through. Thanks, my friend. After this mission, we'll see what's going on with Morgan. I get it. Nighttime is super scary, but is it? Vic, I feel like you can hear me, even though you never answer. Who's that? Please respond, if you can. I just, I just want to know you're alive. Oh, God. I'm not alone. Jesus. That is dark. I can't even see where I'm going. I'm not giving up yet. Diana. Sounds like someone could use a hand. Let's do a stranger first contact. I see a bloater over there. Oh, there's a plague heart here. Gross. Jesus. There's gotta be a plague heart around here somewhere. Oh, you lost someone. Can't even get out. Something should have come with us, man. Look at all these plague samples. They did most of the work, I think. All right, crew, we're gonna do this for Santos, right? Keisha's like, I just left that group. Now I'm helping them take their home back. How are we gonna take this plague out? I didn't even get prepared for this shit. Hey, remember me? I hear you folks have been poking Jesus. around. Move, the move. There is no way we're seeing them out in the cold. Oh my god. Yeah, I'd say it's about time we got some answers. Where's Eastman when you need him? Time to reload. Okay, I might have to change to Helena now. Move, Helena. We need to have your tea. Rick's gun. I can't catch my breath. Well, how do we take this flipping thing out? Let's use you. Because you've got a fast gun. This place is hotter than a damn sauna. Oh my 
Oh god. Not bad. Ooh, some nuts. That's pretty heavy. Looks like this place is Zed free now. Hey Ray. We did your job for you, mate. The hell for you. On site and on task. I knew you'd come through. Thanks, my friend. Yeah. God bless Perfect. you, my friend. Good luck. It's fine. You do it? Yeah. Words can't express how thankful I am. I won't forget this, my friend. No worries, no Ray. Alright, so we got Ray's place back for him. Oh, didn't Helena, like, level up? We should get. What's up, Quincy? First, amigo. Fighting. Close combat. Definitely close combat. Get low on me. Take it. It's all yours. But now you'll owe me a favor. Wow. It's useful when people owe me favors. What are you on about? We'll see what that's that's about next. But first, let's cut back to Morgan and Eastman. See what they're up to. See if Eastman is getting any further in his quest to fix Morgan's mental health. You had someone you loved, didn't you? Children? You saw it happen. It's all happening right in front of your eyes over and over. Your body's here, but your mind is still there. There's a door, and, and you want to go through it to get away from it. And it leads you right back to that moment every time. You still feel it every time. So you just want to stop opening that door. One of those doors leads out, my friend. Say, I don't have any friends. You get to know me. Oh, I'm going to kill you. Why? Because I have to clear. See, that's the thing. You don't. Creep. Hang on. Creeps. Well, I'm the hero known as Quincy. Anybody else want oh, shit, some? I thought I was a bloater. What can we search for in here? You know, you didn't have to do that. Optional chat with oddly dressed stranger. Leave track to bomb when you're ready. Mysterious first contact where she's like an alien of her stupid clothes. This should be useful. I can't carry that much. Oh, it might have to be someone else now. Well, beggars can't be choosers. Done searching this place. I've searched all your home out, lady. What do you want? Hey, weird lady. What do you want? Just making sure you're okay. You're a good fighter. We could use you in our community. Mind if I loot this place a bit? <laughs> Already did it. Wow. Maybe we should recruit her. I was okay before you got here. Oh, shit. Does that mean we lose her? Look. I don't really talk much to people, at least. No offense. Yeah. Well, we, it looks like we lost um, the ability to recruit this chick then, I guess. Whatever. Find the outpost. Sure, why not? I've secured this location as an outpost. All right. Well, we've done that mission. Let's see what else is going on with uh, Morgan and Eastman. Let's see how far the East Man is getting. I've interviewed over 825 people who've done terrible things. I've only met one evil person. They could heal some more, some less, but they can. We all can. Next, we're going to go see Vic. I want to find the sad guy on the radio. See if I can help him. I thought that was a woman. I just ran into the strangest person out scavenging. She didn't let me take some of the gear I found, so she's not entirely unfriendly. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You know why Lily sent you with me, right? Deep down, she knows she can't trust me. I get that. But that means she trusts you. So don't waste that. Play your cards right, and you might be important someday. Oh my god. Ooh, I think she's leveled up and shooting. I'm gonna have to pick guns, then. I'm afraid. It's too good. All right, dude. What's your story? Hey, it sounds like you lost somebody. Do you need help? You do that for me? For us? Thank you. I haven't seen my husband Isaac in weeks. You help find him? We lost All our right. daughter, and he took it really hard. I'm, uh, I'm afraid he might have hurt himself. I just want Isaac to know that I forgive him. I'll tell you a few places to look. He's been avoiding me, but maybe you'll be able to get close. Well, you're coming with us then, buddy. Search for Vic's husband, Isaac. Where could he be then? What's your husband doing in a gun shop, I, uh, Vic? Look. Looking somewhere. Oh crap. Okay. I looked around here, but I don't see any sign of Isaac. Isaac just can't understand that I don't blame him for our daughter's death. We taught her together how to survive out here. It's not his fault she got sick. I'm on my last mag. Better than a kick in the ass. I'm gonna have to use someone else to search for this What's stuff. What's up, dude? Empty. What's next? 
Uh, is that it? Is that all that's in this gun shop? Should I use this as an outpost as well? Surely it's going to give you some good ammo. We're good. The new outpost is now secure. You should really be able to fast travel to outposts. That would be more tactical advantage, man. I might have to just make that kind of mod. Well, let's look to the next place then. Looks like Keisha's leading the way until she can't carry anything anymore. Keisha, you're my commander. So there's someone better than we are dead. Hello? Anybody here? Not here. Where could they be? I've searched this place, but no luck. I'll keep we'll looking. This thing. I appreciate this. When our daughter got sick, Isaac did everything he could to save her. It's not his fault that we ran out of time. I know that. But sometimes I'm not sure he does. Can we slow down for a sec? Oh, damn. Looks like it's time to be someone else. First person up here gets to be the new commander. Not you, Quincy, because you'll fill up. I guess it's Malik. Um, yeah, it looks okay. Let's hope the engine turns over. Why the fucking warehouse? Is that where he is? Plague Heart. Have they established that there's Plague Hearts all over the place yet? Damn, there's so much shit. That's another group of survivors. I wonder if they need help. That might be Eastman and Morgan's first training mission. Seems like nothing more to see here. All right, we've searched a lot of this town, man. Going to this place. Shit, there's a juggernaut. We ain't got time for that. Oh my god. Shit. Come on. Oh, fuck. I ain't got no health either. I cut me in half for that person. I thought Quincy was going to die then. Nice work, Malik. Nice work. Oof. Let's get out of here. Oh shit, Helena ain't got blood plague, is she? I guess she's okay, she's just injured. I ain't even got no plague kills or nothing. Your husband better be here, man, because this is costing us a lot of health and stuff. Where's... Oh shit, she has got blood plague. Two hours, wow. Okay. Got plenty of time. Heartland's easy, man. Can't believe Heartland's somewhere in between Lethal and Nightmare. It's more like between Hard and Nightmare. Nightmare, I think you get like 20 minutes or something. Hello? Oh. I wonder if I'll ever get over finding these children or whatever. I should have trust just all in the house next. Two stickers, one tall, two tall, one short. Level for my daddy's and you Okay, okay, we get it. Please. I just want to be alone right now. Rick sent me. He's of worried about he's you. Worried. He's always worried. I'm the one who got our daughter killed, and all he wants to do is talk about it. That sounds about I right. can't live with his suffering anymore. Please, just tell him I'm dead. This It'll will be a bit difficult. He's right there. <laughs> he's right there. Dead or something. Have you told Vic that I'm dead? Well, since he's right there, I'm going to have to tell him the truth. Have you had any luck finding Isaac? Yeah, of course he did, because he knows what's best for everybody. He's so goddamn stubborn. <sighs> Any chance you're looking for a new recruit? I refuse to sit around and wait for that asshole to change his mind. Sassy. I know some emergency medicine, and I've chopped a lot of heads. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm sure. That stubborn old jerk might not want me around right now, but I'm staying close. You never know. Have you told Vic that I'm dead? Look, as long as he thinks I'm alive, he'll never move on with his life. Please, give him this chance at happiness. Damn, I'm gonna get on the radio for a sec. He's got plague pathology. We should have um, probably got Isaac, him. I know you're alive, and that you tried to get these nice folks to lie to me. They're talking to each other right now. <laughs> Sometimes you don't make a lot of sense to me, but I always know you care. I love you, and uh, and I forgive you. For real, I ask you to do one kind thing, Vic. Why do you not understand that hearing your voice just brings back all the guilt? I just, I just can't anymore. Don't ever try to find me again. Any of you. Damn, I, I had no idea he'd react that way. I hear you. Life sucks. Where do you guys live anyway? Hmm. Well, now I'm curious. 
Let's keep moving. Got I Vic over Isaac. I feel like if I'd lied to I Vic, to we would have got Isaac. How are you doing? Paramedicine. Oh yeah. I don't know Whatever. Shit, the bloat is coming. Shit, the bloat is coming! Ooh, that was close. Alright, let's get home. While we're on our way home, we can see what Morgan is up to. Morgan and Eastman. Do they get any closer to getting him better? Door's open. It's been open all along. You stay or you go. Those are the choices. And we'll try to find you another way. I will not allow you to kill me. I will not allow that. Say your prayers, asshole! Oh shit, so much for... Stop. <laughs> Massive Eastman. Oh, he's got his own stick. Put him down. There we go. I give you two choices. Let me get that, Morgan. You're not good enough yet with that little stick. I'm gonna turn that into a fighting stick. We're gonna fix you right up, Morgan, mate. We're gonna fix you right up. All right, sweet home, sweet home. What a long adventure we've been on. You're gonna like it here. Thanks, boss. The fire department trained me as a paramedic. We had a good pharmacy. I could keep us all in good shape. All right, let's put uh, Elena in the infirmary real quick. I'm off to see the medic. I gotta rest up. I feel like trash. I'm gonna go get checked out. Make sure everything still works like it should. You okay, Helena? Less than one minute. I know things look bad, but this is your best shot to beat this. Thanks, Doc. Guys, we gotta get some food. Okay, I'm all better. Guess we can do. Oh, what? The mission expired. We didn't run away. We didn't have time. All right, with Doctor Eastman. We need to go see if we can get Morgan training. Okay, I got some work to do. We get Morgan. All right. One night, my five-year-old daughter found me crying in the garage after about eight beers. Told her I wasn't feeling too good. Next morning, I found a flyer for Aikido. That's how I kicked your ass earlier. Well, that's how I redirected your ass. Your wife and your daughter, they did. Aikido, it'll help. And you obviously need help. Morgs, you ready to train? Let's turn that stick of yours into a bow staff. We're gonna sort you out, Morgs. Let's clean you up a bit. You're looking all brap and you've got too much hair on your head. Right, since we're supposed to be all life is precious, you're not supposed to use your GSGW anymore. Come meet the crew. So That's uh, Helena up there. We have room. And the rest of the crew's all around here. You can go meet them. First, we're gonna need some uh, health, maybe a play cures, toolkit, and I need a gun just in case shit hits the fan. All right, Morgan, you ready to do some training? Where's my terrapin shirt? There we go. Fix your spear. It's about redirecting, evading, and actually caring about the welfare of your opponent. You have to believe your life is precious, that all life is precious. You have to redirect those thoughts, the history that tells you otherwise. What we've done, we've done. We evaded by moving forward with a code to never do it again. To accept everyone. To protect everyone. And in doing that, protect yourself to create peace. Let's begin. Okay, we've got Morgan versus Eastman. Training, training mode one. I should be show, showing him up. Damn, he's showing me up right now. Bow stuff. Flip. Oh, 
Come on, Morgan, show me what you got. Where's your training? Still got a lot to learn, but you'll get there eventually, Morgs. Now get up. We've got to get out of there before these zombies come up. Eastman wins. Round one. <laughs> All right. You've tried for your first training session, but now the training is to fight zombies. You've improved. You know how to use the bow stuff. Let's go. There we go. Finish him off. Nice. We're going to do three missions as part of your training. I'm not supposed to use a gun unless absolutely necessary. Because our life is precious. Let's go back to base. Yeah, he's training. He's training. Right, we're going to keep this gun in here just in case. But hopefully we're going to try not to use it. Because our life is precious. Well, doesn't mean you can't use guns against zombies, but... We take in trouble, handle with care. Alright, let's go see what that's about, then. That sounds like a big mission. I don't know if that's a good first mission for Morgan, his staff, but we'll see. Hey, over here. What's he doing here? This isn't where we met him before. Alright, this is our first mission, Morgs. We're gonna see what we can do for Captain Logan. Not much here. <laughs> Thanks for coming out. I need to show you something. Show sure, let me guess, is it classified? Yeah, uh, let's be, let's be Saki. I know Eastman likes to be funny. I don't know if you've noticed this. The blood plague in this area is especially nasty. Yes. Yeah. The things I'm going to show you, let's just say they aren't exactly common outside the valley. Travel to hey. the crash plane, Captain Logan. All right, let's go. Damn it, we don't have a car big enough for all three of us. Okay, it's close enough. See that disgusting mass up there? That's a plague wall. Don't get too close unless you're ready for a serious fight. It looks kind of like a plague heart. Uh-huh. The doc calls it the next step in blood plague evolution. Personally, I think of these walls as the reason my entire squad is dead. We shot it, we burned it, we blew it up. Nothing worked. Um, and so, the doc stumbled onto a neat little trick. Now, you've probably seen plague bloaters around the valley already. The dog figured out that these bastards held the secret to taking down the plague walls. Who's this doc you keep talking about? And what do plague bloaters have to do with anything? Alright, I'm gonna have to use this car now. Damn, it's a toolkit in here, though. Try not to use this gun. This tool, we're gonna just leave the Maximilian for now, I guess. Might as well fully repair it. I think I'm not even fully repaired after all that. Travel to the house by the crash site with Captain Logan. Damn. This is a house? It doesn't feel like a house. Playable durability. What the hell? We might have to have a gun in after all. I think that wall is made of dead bodies. If we get any more Zeds moving in around here, we might want to move out. This is not a good training mission. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, you that still wasn't too. exactly subtle. Now you'll have to hunt around for another plague bloater. You can harvest the bloater's poison gland before it explodes. Go fetch me one from that guy over there, and I'll show you what's next. Gun after him. Be careful. If you fumble this, you have to track down another of these damn things. Travel to another area where plague bloaters were seen. Time to start looking, I guess. Yeah, I gotta be sneaky for a bit. Damn it! Yeah, yeah, sure. That wasn't exactly subtle. Now you'll have to hunt around for another plague bloater. Like, I thought you were teaching me something. You suck yourself. Shit, zombies all around there. See a bloater taking a nap. Where is the bloater? Oh, man, the bloater is loud. Steady. Steady. Oh my god. Come on, Morgan. Don't be afraid. Get in there. Change your skills. That wasn't exactly subtle. Now you'll have to go around for another plague bloater. Let's 
Yeah, it doesn't always work. Time. Zombie bomb itself. I know. That was intense. I haven't seen any zombie in film or TV that show it can bomb itself. Yeah. Bomb zombies are crazy. It's in here, I guess. Why are always zombies got to be around there? Steady. Steady. Let's try this plot of gas thing again. Is Morgan doing? Almost there. Yes. Plot of gas gland. This item has no function outside of Heartland. Oh. I want to get more plot of gas glands. Shit. Ooh, that was close. Okay, you managed to harvest again. the poison gland. The doc has a process to turn the chemicals inside this thing into a weapon. I just thought of something else I want to show you. Let's hit it before we meet up with the doc. You must be having a hard time dealing with so many lost soldiers. Uh huh. She, 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 uh, didn't anticipate this level of difficulty. First mission of training is almost over, Dogs man. Had me on bloater patrol for the last couple of days. So it's just the two of you? Uh huh. Didn't start that way, but we uh bit off way more than we could chew. Looks like the bridge is out. Did you army guys blow it up? Somebody did, but it wasn't us. Both bridges were fine when we rolled in a month ago. A few days later, we woke up to the sound of two big explosions. Are Radios found? went down, and we lost contact with the outside world. Things went bad in a hurry after that. Sorry to hear that. You done looking around? So when do I get to meet this mysterious doctor? How about right now? Okay. There is no way any civilian in this valley had the munitions and the skill to take down both bridges. Somebody into a lot of trouble to trap a bunch of locals and a military expedition in this damn valley. Yeah. Hey, Doc, I'm back. And I brought a new friend. Good, good. Come on up. Oh, it's Dr. Hoffman. These days, Dr. Hoffman is technically military. During the outbreak, she was oh, rescued by control sweeping the area for high-value civilian assets. We're lucky they found her. The lab she runs has given us a lot of new weapons nah, in the war spot. against the zombies. What's this? Damn. Dr. Hoffman's a freak. We've got this way too many brain. infestations in this neighborhood. Oh, there she is. What the hell's he doing? Uh, I don't think that's where you're supposed to be working. Uh, typing it, nothing. Hello there. I suppose all of this must come as a surprise to you. Have a Two years ago, I was working in a private lab funded by some tech billionaire I never even met. Just keeping my head down, trying to push out the edges of medical parasitology. The next thing you know, the world ends, and the army whisks me off to a bunker. And the rest is history. Oh, before I forget, take this. This information will let you upgrade your medical facility to something less... medieval. Among other benefits, you will be able to craft a special kind of plague cure that provides brief immunity to further infection. Mm -hmm. Much obliged. I feel terrible. Great. You As a doctor when you need one. When we get back to base, Morgan, I'll pop with Captain Logan. I know this is a lot to take in. The truth is, we need your help. The doc and I can't do everything needed to finish the job. You've proven yourself more than competent. I'd like to count on you to help us see this to the end. I like how you think. We'll be in touch when we're ready to take the next step. Thanks for your help. And be careful out there, okay? Okay, so we've met Dr. Hoffman. Let's head back to base. It's mission one for training one complete. Maybe mission two, we, we use that to take out um, infestations. That could be the mission two. Home sweet home. I expect you've heard rumors about the army's disappearance months ago and what we've been up to since. The truth is, the army didn't abandon this country. Those in charge realized that city by city defense wasn't working. In fact, it was threatening to bleed the entire military dry, and almost to no benefit. To save this country, to save the world, we needed a new plan. Alright, Morgan. 
We'll catch you later. Mm -hmm. Put you in the little house, and uh, we'll get you for the second training session. Safe now. See you soon, I hope. All right, let's see if we can fix this medical tent. Gain the ability to craft enhanced cloaker, which great, which also grants people immunity to infection. Also, all allows all survivors to passively recover from injuries while inactive. Well, for the tent, oh crap! I just now got it. Dinosaurs, oil, gas station. Duh. All right. Ooh, this oh, is serious enough that I'm gonna see the doc. Let's fix Quincy's sword, right. and that's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, Diana. And that's episode two done. I'll see you guys on episode three. Looking forward to it. We'll do some more training with Morgan and Eastman, and find out what else is going on in the world. ZK Two's Heartland. And this is the end of episode two of ZK Two's The Walking Dead Heartland. Peace. Thanks for watching.